song that um, co-wrote with Mark Elliott long, long time ago. Um, so long ago, there was not even there wasn't a Kagan. You know, so uh, it's just it's going back to Appalachian summer. Mark, uh, Mark, Mark Elliott, and Gary Colley, and those guys. We, we I, we've gone back a very long ways. Um, so they're still living in in Nashville. I brought this. I had a I had a solid chorus on this thing. Uh, it was on a, one of the trips back from Western North Carolina. Uh, we'd go to the Grandfather Mike in the Highland Games, you know, in, uh, in that up there and hang around and all that good stuff. Uh, so, kind of started this tune, Appalachian Summer, and I kind of brought it to Mark, and he was like, he was he was on it like, man, like white on rice, man. It was, ama- it was an amazing songwriter. He just is the, the, the way he thinks about things differently or whatever. So, um, this actually, they just cut this this past year on their album, um, and Mark and Gary have a uh, have a band called Runaway Home. Look them up. Yeah, so uh, no, so there, there's your there's your homework. Mark Elliott, Gary Colley on Facebook, Runaway Home, and uh, Mark's a he's an author now. He's writing books because it's Sons of Star Mike, things like that. So these guys, it's just, you know, the guys just don't quit writing. Neither of them do. But anyway, it's like I don't quit talking. All right, let's see if I can remember this. So wait, now this is forever. Two, three, yeah. We'll be right back after all these edits. You're, You're watching, watching backstage. backstage. Uh, come on, man. 
some more. Oh my god, I messed up. I'm gonna try again. Be right back. I'm gonna... Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> You're watching Backstage on Pack 14. <laughs> Another co-write with Mark Elliott. Uh, this is the first time that Ke Kagan was on. Uh, it was so it's a tri-write, a three-way write in uh, Tennessee for uh, Spigma. Uh, that happens. It was like it's his 45th year. Spigma stands for uh, the Society for the Preservation of Bluegrass Music Awards. Some people say it stands for the Society for the Pre Prevention of Bluegrass Music Awards. But um, but anyway, but we we're down there and hanging out and again, feeling out like whether we were returning or not and all that good stuff and. Uh, and we knew it was like, man, let's 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 write something over down here, you know, with Mark. And uh, so he he, you know, we come up with this. I had this idea, was cooking. I was like, man, it's gonna be a good idea, you know. When we come in, and we sat down at the table. He's like, you know, he said, boys, I, I got an idea, something I've been working on. And as per normal, it's like, dang, yeah, that is a better idea. That's good. <laughs> I mean, this could be anywhere, time, anywhere, Bill. The idea, the concept is like, there's a road out of this town. There's always a bridge or a road that leads out of the town. But when you're trapped in a town, or maybe you're trapped in a place, you're trapped in your own place, you don't ever see that road, <clears throat> you know? And you're the whole time you're looking for that road, and you're thinking that, and he's like, man, yeah, there ain't no road out of this town. Two, three. There ain't no road out of this town, so life goes around and around. Even the angels sound.
Netflix has written, like, like I said, it was, it was a it was a try, a three-way right, and uh, not like a three-way. I'm like, oh, can I mumble some more? Blah 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 blah. I should have just scattered it. Hey, sock it to me. That's awesome.